Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Listen, all month long, we're praying about the spirit of Christmas. That's right, the spirit of Christ mass, more Christ in this season. And each day, we're just praying about the gifts that Jesus' birth brought into the world, brought into our life. When God uh, demonstrated his love for us, he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God gave us the gift of his love. And when he gave us that gift, it brings joy and peace and salvation into our lives. So we're going to be praying about each one of those four gifts. Uh, the first week is praying about the gift of love in this season. And each day we read a passage of scripture that just reminds us of the love of God in our life. And today we're in John chapter 17 and verse 23, the gospel according to John chapter 17 and verse 23 from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as I, as you have loved me. Amen. I in them, you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Amen. This is God's prayer. This is Christ's prayer to his Father in John chapter 17 and verse 23. And we're just going to pull out some of those same principles that Jesus prayed to his Father as we go to God in prayer today. We want to, first of all, thank God that Jesus lives in us as Emmanuel, God with us. Secondly, we want to pray that the world will know that Jesus came from the Father, that we would be witnesses to the world, that they would know that Jesus came from God the Father. And then thirdly and finally, we want to thank God that he loves us even as he loved Jesus. Amen. What a wonderful thing to know in this season, during the spirit of Christmas, that God's love for us is the same love in which he loved Jesus. And so you and I can know that no matter who's around, or who shows up or doesn't show up, the love of God is real and tangible in our lives today. Come on, let's go to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and bless you. We praise your holy name. God, we pause at this time in our day and this, this moment in our prayer, just to acknowledge who you are. God, you are God all by yourself. Lord, you are love. Lord, you love us with an unconditional love and eternal love. God, you loved us so much. You gave your only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins and to be raised from the dead for the saving of our souls. So thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you mean to us. Thank you for loving us. And thank you for loving us enough to not only just send Jesus into the world, but you also call him Emmanuel. He is in fact God with us. Lord, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit after the death, burial, the resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus into heaven. You sent us another comforter. You sent us the Holy Spirit who resides in us and with us even right now. So we thank you, Lord, for not leaving us comfortless, but sending another comforter, sending the power, the person, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have to go through this season by ourselves, for you are with us and you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us. Lord, we thank you that because you live in us and through us, that we have an opportunity, an obligation, a commandment to be witnesses of you in everywhere we go and in every place we visit. Lord, we pray that as we share our testimony that the world will know that Jesus is God, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus did come from you, Father, and that he is the son of the living God, and that if they place their faith in him for the forgiveness of their sin, they can experience your love, your joy, your peace, and your salvation, and that nothing in this life compares to your love for us. Lord, let us be a witness and a testimony to our families. Let us be a witness and a testimony to our friends. 
Let us be a witness and testimony to those that we come in contact with. Lord God, that you are the reason for the season. Lord, let us experience the spirit of Christmas this season. Let us experience the spirit of your love, joy, peace, and salvation. And God, we thank you that you love us even as you love Jesus. That with the same love that you love Jesus is the same love that you loved us. That you have given us every good and perfect gift. For every good and perfect gift comes from above. Lord, somebody might be disappointed in this season because they didn't get a particular gift or they didn't get a gift from a particular person. But Lord God, help them to know that whatever they didn't get from someone else, you've given them everything they need in your love for them and your love for us. God, we love you and we honor you today. We thank you for this season where we get to remember the birth of Christ. We get to reflect on the birth and we get to rejoice because Jesus was born in the flesh and he was Emmanuel. He walked among us. He talked among us. He did miracles. And that same Jesus is alive forevermore. And he moves and he lives in us, God. And we thank you for your presence and your power in the life of your people. Now, Lord, use us, the church of Christ. Use us, the believers, the body of Christ, to do good things in the earth, to be salt and light in this season. Lord, that we might be a witness to those who need to know that Jesus does in fact save that we be witnesses, Lord, to those that don't know that you love them with the love of God. We love you in the Lord God. We believe victory in the life of your people. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number five of us praying for the spirit of Christmas, the spirit of Christ mass, more Christ in our life. And specifically this week, we're praying that we would experience the gift of God's love. We pray today from John chapter 17 and verse 23. I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Amen. We'll be back to pray with you tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel, share the channel, hit the notification button. That way each morning on our YouTube channel when those new daily devotionals come out, you can get that and join in us. Join in with us as we pray for the spirit of Christmas in this season. I love you in the Lord. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. God bless. You.